Hi, I'm Allie from Infragistics, and I'm here to show you how to get started using the WPF ZAM Ribbon Control. So let's go take a look. Today we're going to start by creating a new WPF project. Let's select the ZAM Ribbon from the toolbox and drag it onto our design surface. Add a Ribbon tab by clicking Add Ribbon Tab in the Control Designer. Click on the header of the ribbon tab and give it a name. We'll call this Home. As you can see, we have options for adding various types of controls to this group. We'll start by adding a couple of button tools. Now, before we get too far, let's bring in some images. We'll quickly create a new folder and call it Images and we'll add some images as existing items. Change the name of this first button to Paste. Now we'll assign the image named Paste32 to the button. Next, we'll repeat this process for the remaining two buttons. To represent Cut, and copy. Changing the orientation and size of a button is very easy. You'll start by clicking on the button you want to modify. Then you'll modify the ribbon group dot maximum size property. You'll set this to image and text large. As you can see, that's going to make the paste button become large and slide the others over. Let's change the Ribbons application menu mode to Office 2010. Now we can modify the caption of this menu to File. As you can see, we have a ribbon with our buttons and our backstage Office 2010 application style menu. Now let's start adding items to the Quick Access Toolbar. We'll select our Cut button and add this to the Quick Access Toolbar. Now we'll select the Copy button and make this one a quick access toolbar common tool. Now let's run the app. As you can see, the cut button instance has been copied to the quick access toolbar. We also have the copy button as a common tool in the quick access toolbar. Let's add an item to the backstage of our application menu. Let's find our application 2010 menu. We want to find the items collection, and we're going to add an application menu 2010 item. We can set the image to File New and hit OK. Now we'll run the application and see what we have. As you can see, our image for our new button is now visible, but our text isn't there. So what we can do is set the header property. Now we have a menu item in our backstage. Notice that our window doesn't really integrate well with our ribbon. Let's go ahead and change that. We'll be changing the window root element to be the ZAM ribbon window. Next, change the grid to be the Ribbon Window Content Host. We can't forget to go to our code behind and either change the window derived class or just remove it completely. Finally, let's take the entire ribbon control that we've created and wrap that inside Ribbon Window Content Host dot ribbon property. When we run our application, you'll see that our ribbon nicely integrates inside the window chrome itself, with our quick access toolbar being integrated into the header of the window chrome. 
In this video, we learned how to quickly get started creating XAM ribbon control and adding ribbon tabs, groups, buttons, application menus, and items to the quick access toolbar, as well as integrating the ribbon into the window control itself. And that's what's in development. See you soon.